A new month typically means a new set of apps to check out. And in this video, we're going to go back to the Mac this time and take a look at five apps that might be worth downloading. Before we get started, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell to get notifications whenever we share a video. First up is a new email app from the developer of the popular note-taking app Notability, and it's called TwoBird. TwoBird is designed to merge your notes and email together, so you can write down any ideas that you might have or some grocery lists, tasks for work, etc., and then be able to quickly jump into your email all within the same application. For me personally, I use the note section as a way to have email templates, work tasks, and emails that I might want to save in a different area and just kind of reference back at a later date. And you can easily do all of those by copying the actual link to the email message so that all you have to do is click on the note and then click on that link and it'll take you right to the email that you're you know, trying to reference. The app also adds a reminders feature and the ability to collaborate with other people inside of the shared notes. Aside from those useful features, you do get a nicely designed email app that offers the ability to separate low priority emails like newsletters and social media mail from important emails that require your attention right away. There's also a section for unsubscribing to those mailing lists that you don't really want to be a part of anymore. And I really like how everything is just kind of laid out for me to go ahead and search through all of those lists and unsubscribe one by one and kind of eliminate all the junk mail that I no longer need. Now the app is completely free, but the developer does say that they want to add premium features later down the road. But as of right now, everything is again completely free and it's available across all platforms. So it might be worth trying out. Speaking of notes, Side Notes is a unique note taking app that lives off to the side of your screen. And it can be accessed easily by either a keyboard shortcut or by pressing this translucent tab on the side of your desktop. And just like that, your notes will just slide on over. Kind of reminds me of the slide over view on an iPad, except it's on your Mac and it's specific to notes. You can write a note up in traditional plain text. You can even use Markdown or write out blocks of code for quick reference at a later date. You can drag and drop documents or media directly to the Side Notes app and can keep everything organized within different folders. The app has a lot of customization tools and options available. And if you're a member of SetApp, it's actually a app available on that platform. Or you can give the app a shot for free. But after the 30 day free trial, a one time purchase of $19.99 is required. But it's worth giving maybe the free trial a shot and see if you like it. And then you can go ahead and pay that one-time fee if you wanna keep using it. This next app is called Bumper, and it's a very simple utility that I could probably sum up in about two sentences, but I'll try to give you as much information as possible. And it is possibly incredibly useful for some of you out there. So if you use multiple web browsers, like in my case, I do regularly switch between Safari and Chrome, or if you use two email apps, which I also do, I use the regular Mac Mail and Newton Mail, well, you can actually decide which app you want to open links or email address links in. So when you go ahead and hover over a link, for example, and you click on it, Bumper will immediately bring up two options or however many browser options you have. In my case, it's two and it's Safari and Chrome. I go ahead and pick the app and boom, the link is opened up in that app. And same thing with an email address. If you see a email address, you click on it and it will take you to that email app with a new message ready to go. And you can go ahead and just send that person an email. Window management on the Mac is not the best, but there are plenty of other apps out there that really help you, you know, fix this problem quickly and easily. And you can easily snap your app windows to a specific portion of the screen. We've actually highlighted a few of them over the years, but a lot of them are not free. Rectangle, however, it is free and it's open sourced. And honestly, it just does a really good job, just as good of a job as any of those other window, window management apps that we've used in the past. And again, it's completely free. Now there is a pretty good list of keyboard shortcuts that you'll need to learn in order to fully take advantage of this app. But Rectangle does a good job of showing you all of those in a neat and organized cheat sheet. And if you need to remember something quickly, you can access that cheat sheet in the menu bar. After you learn those shortcuts, you'll be able to snap and resize windows all over your desktop quickly and easily. And finally, our last app is called Silicio. 
And what it does is it gives users a mini media player option for some streaming services like Apple Music and Spotify specifically. Now, Apple Music, in my opinion, already has a pretty good mini player available within the app itself, but Spotify really does not. And so Silicio can really help users see song info and album art at a quick glance anywhere on their desktop and also have quick access to playback controls, share songs via Twitter, uh, view entire albums, and more. There's a Today widget option so that you can have that in your Today widget if you want to. And there are a few custom options to mess around with, like different themes, custom shortcuts, and more. The app is also completely free, so why not download it? And that's been our list of five Mac apps that we think you should check out for the month of July 2020, of course. Would love to know what apps you're really liking so far. Maybe it's something new that you discovered and you want to share with the world. Please let us know in the comments section down below. This has been Dan with Mac Rumors. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope to see you around in the next video.